Hello, <laughs> how are you? Um, welcome back to Path of Enlightenment Tarot. Um, I wanted to talk to everybody for, for a second, I guess. Um, I did a reading today for Sagittarius. And, well, before that, <clears throat> so my name is Nicole and um, I started this journey because I wanted to change the lives of people around me um, for the better. And today, as well as many of you know, if you've just recently subscribed, the channel is very, very new. It's a baby. And um, so I got a couple, I got Scorpio and Taurus's videos out. I did some collectives. Um, learning to harness this energy for me uh, on a grand scheme of things has been different for me and um, I'm sure that'll come in due time right um, but I did Sagittarius's video uh, this afternoon while I was at work and um, it was really overwhelming to the point I still have it I haven't tried to put it out there yet in debating whether or not I want to um, but I thought maybe um, giving some insight to who I am because <clears throat> would be beneficial right so uh, why I do what I do, I think would be useful as well. Um, because I think it's really hard for people who don't, um, don't have life experience to understand where another person is coming from or why we do the things that we do. So a little bit about myself. <clears throat> um, I grew up knowing that I had gifts and these gifts were uh, something beyond what I was taught to to be okay and comfortable with because I grew up in uh, church and I don't mean that in a negative sense to anybody so please do not take offense to that um, but I was taught that you know you shouldn't hear things or you shouldn't see things and uh, <clears throat> true to my Scorpio nature I embraced it and here I am all these years later you know it's been like 30 plus years uh, kind of kept it quiet for a long time did my thing nurturing those spiritual experiences but coming to a realization and the healing of how different life really was supposed to be in the long run and <clears throat> so my intent and goal in what I do is to help people not just locally because I, I own my own business in, in West Virginia and <clears throat> I've been helping other people for the last couple of years and just friends and stuff you know over the years prior to that and through the business that I started, I always said my goal, you know, years ago when it all got, it all began, that journey of doing this for the rest of my life began. I said, if I help one person heal, <clears throat> then I've lived my life's purpose and I'm happy with that. But I also feel like that on the grand scheme of things, our messages when we are light workers are supposed to be heard across vast amounts of people that are going to gain something from that. So... <clears throat> you know, I don't, uh, I don't, hell, I don't know how to put it, um, <clears throat> but to be straight, so, <sighs> I don't do this for a title, I don't do this because I want fame and glory, I do this because our, when we share our life experiences with other people, we stand to gain a, a huge enlightenment in our life to live in a way that connects to our souls and brings us purpose and then we're able to evolve so the one thing I was taught years ago and by many people in my life was you should dumb me down who you are because I'm just straight to the point and I'm not always so nice but I'm a loving person <clears throat> so I smoke I drink my coffee I go to work I'm oftentimes late my hair often looks like this I wear yoga pants to work sometimes um, I walk around barefooted at work and I do what makes me feel internally good and providing love and kindness to the world around me. Um, so as a single mom and in going through life and having a better understanding of where it is that I'm meant to be, you know, that doesn't always make everybody else happy. And I've had to learn that just because someone else doesn't agree with where I'm at doesn't mean um, that I shouldn't be there because what I've had to learn over the years was to establish boundaries with the people in my life and 
when we make other people uncomfortable with our boundaries, we then become the asshole, right? So needless to say, that's what's happened. So you might see me outside doing videos. You might see me inside at my studio uh, where I work and have my business uh, you know, in there, which is where the other videos have been done at. But I also believe to be out and connect with nature. It's been raining here today and I stood out in the rain and it was like the most <clears throat> awesome experience because um, it was rain. It felt good as a water sign. It's, it's where I feel like a home at, right? So, um, so anyhow, a little bit about me so you understand. I just, I do gemstones and crystals and, and, and the, the tools that aid us on our spiritual path. That's what I do during the day and then, you know, do energy services also during the day and then decided to share the same on, on YouTube because there's always something to be learned and to be had. So I did the Sagittarius video earlier today and it started off on a good note and then it went real south real fast. And <clears throat> it's, on, it's on my phone, it's recorded. I'm contemplating whether or not I wanna release that or <clears throat> um, put something else out there. And uh, I happened to listen to something here a little bit ago and it caught my attention. And uh, I've been listening to readers on YouTube for, for quite some time. And I honestly, some of them, the best ones out there have helped me uh, through my own journey as I was a, a victim of domestic violence and had to rebuild my life from literally ground zero. Meanwhile, I've got court systems and other people uh, judging my situation because I put faith in somebody else. Uh, that's another day, story, else, you know, elsewhere, whatever. So I do this Sag video and me, I'm thinking collectively, like I'm, you know, I do collective readings locally and stuff like that, but to do it, on a grander scheme, could be my nerves too, or a little bit of self-doubt. So I'm human, still human, um, <clears throat> that maybe I'm wrong, hoping I'm wrong, <laughs> because I want, I know, you know, you deliver good messages, you deliver bad messages, it happens, it's part of it, right? Um, <clears throat> but a whole lot of um, egotistical energy ended up kind of coming through that video, and just like a quick recap to that was like, basically somebody falling from grace, like seeing them have it all and then getting mixed up in some some real serious shit of like you know cheating husbands cheating wives uh, alcoholism you know things that we we hope that other people find um, find a, a way to get out of that if that's that's where they are so that can be kind of heavy you know as light workers it's heavy energy to deal with sometimes and it's always you know, you, you see a lot of them take breaks or they go MIA for a little while because it's, it's heavy work. It's, it's exhausting. After I did that Sag reading today, um, I had to like go eat, go get a cup of coffee. I had to like re-nourish the body. I needed coffee. I needed water. I needed Gatorade. I needed a, probably about a half pack of cigarettes because holy fuck, you know, um, but I, I, what I think that the, the goal of this video for me right now to share with all of you is that whether they're good or bad messages, I'm going to deliver those to you because um, waking up to our own demons is what transforms our lives. When we're able to take accountability and responsibility for who we are and why we do the things we do or how we entertain it, that's where we, we find our biggest growth, I think. That was, at least for me, anyhow. Um, so, you know, I'm not so much afraid to hurt people's feelings. Do I want to? Of course not, who does? But um, I'm doing it because I want to see you better your life. I'm doing it because I want to see changes. I'm doing it because um, there's something to be had uh, in the situation to change your projection. I mean, if you're, if you're, if you find yourself looking to tear, you're either looking for validation, you're looking for confirmation, or you're looking to change your life and follow a more spiritual path and to gain insight and wisdom into what you're doing and um, in your journey, you know, what you're doing in your journey. So it's going to be beneficial to you if you're using it for the right reasons. Um, so after that video again that I did earlier of Sagittarius, um, I've got a couple sages in my life and I can kind of see where it, it takes shape. Um, but 
you know, my goal as a single mom and as a person who has been through the ringer, you know, Scorpios, we have, I don't know what kind of soul contract we pick coming into this world, but it's a doozy. And in, you know, almost 40 years of life, um, I've really gone through a lot of shit myself personally, and I've learned to just be authentic in the real me. Like, yes, my hair is a mess. I wear sunglasses on my head that are scratched. Some days I'm lucky if I had time to shower. And um, <clears throat> I'm not here for show. I'm not here to play games. I'm not here to be anything other than who I am to my core, my core, you know, and like, look, here, this is probably see me. I've picked the fingernail polish off in the shower. That's how I cleanse my nails, remove my nail polish, right? I don't go get a pedicure or a manicure or whatever. I don't even know what they're called half the time. Um, <clears throat> it doesn't get much more real than that. I'm a hot mess seven days a week, but my goal is to always see people do better. And I've had some wonderful people in my life to support me in that. And, um, they've made some comments already on some of the Facebook or um, not on Facebook, but on the uh, YouTube. And, um, you know, I've watched these, these folks that I've got to work with change their lives and see them transform. And they're such beautiful individuals and not because of me, but simply because they were open to learning and experiencing something, uh, and to address themselves and to realize the toxicity that was in their lives around them and seeing them change and transform is, is a beautiful thing, you know? Uh, so I don't know. I, I just felt like, uh, you know, try to introduce myself the best I can. I'm not going to, you know, even behind the camera, like I get nervous. Uh, it took me many years to get over like a fear of public speaking for myself too. So to be able to do this and know that, you know, who knows, 50 billion people around the world could be watching this and, you know, judging me or whatever, but you know, that's, that's, that's your prerogative, not mine. Um, but I just hope that in these videos that I do and, and put out to you all that you find um, you find an easier way in life. You find a more spiritual way in life. You find a way that you're willing to be comfortable in your own skin and not waste the precious time that we're given in this 3D world. Uh, cause there is something beyond here. There's something way beyond where we're at and what we're, what we're here for in that moment or what we think, what we're taught we're here for, you know, it's high school, college, SATs, hurry up, get married, run off, white picket fence, kids, work yourself to death until you die. And then it's all over. There's nothing more to it than that. You pay taxes, right? So, um, there's, there's more to it than, than what meets the eye. And I think for most of you, you probably recognize that just when you find yourself even in this realm at all, uh, through spiritualism or whatever it is that you, you practice, um, you're, you're being called to it for a specific reason. And I hope that the messages that I deliver to you all are, um, positive, but also understand that part of that is coming in touch with the deepest, darkest parts of ourselves and if we're ready or not to transform. And I, I've mentioned in a couple of the videos, like I wanted to just do a monthly um, reading for each month for each sign um, and had some issues with uploading, not the best service. It's been raining and crazy here, so who knows? So I thought, well, I'll just do a couple shorter ones and I was gonna do um, money and career, love, and general and I started to release the general ones and <clears throat> every time I go to say love and I kind of start laughing on the camera because I'm just like you know all the readings I see are love 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 and um, I had to learn the hard way that it's not about the other person in your life it's about you because we tend to pick up and attract unhealthy partners when we are trying to find fulfillment in another human being and not within ourselves. So not that love doesn't matter because we are universal love. Uh, the world is love if we allow love to live from that space. So um, not that I won't focus on relationships at all, but, um, and then of course it's whatever spirit wants, wants to come out, whatever my guides are asking me to do or giving me you know, the words or the pictures and the way they come through to me, 
um, that's obviously the message for whatever reason, even if I'm like, eh, love, oh, you know, whatever. But um, you find purpose in yourself. I can tell you that the last um, five months, maybe, about five months, uh, I've really had to learn a lot about that. Uh, things I've already known for a long time, I just didn't do them. And I paid a hefty price for that, truth be told. So, um, but now we're good. Now we're great. <laughs> so, um, I just felt that it was important to um, make myself known, in a sense, to you guys. Because, you know, I'm, you're, you're listening to, to me and to others for guidance in your life. And it's like, how do you... How do you take that guidance if you don't like if you don't know somebody you know what I mean so um, I'm Nicole I'm a single mom <laughs> uh, I work I do my thing um, and my thing is spiritualism and helping other people uh, so again you'll see my hair is a hot mess I don't typically wear makeup I don't necessarily fix myself up I do what's comfortable and what feels right um, some days I'll be outside. Some days I'll be in a studio. Some days, who knows, maybe one day I'll give you guys a, a tour around the, my business and see what all it is that I do there um, because it pertains to spiritualism and what I do here now as well. So um, I might deliver some tough messages that I don't care to deliver, but um, I guess they really need to be heard regardless, right? So... Um, I don't know. <laughs> Just thought it was important. It was one of those things that after after doing that and feeling so damn drained from that reading, uh, that I needed to just go. Hey, I'm a I'm a human being too, and there's no need to doubt myself. And there's a reason that I've been brought to this point, and this is the reason that these things have come across to me of things I'd like to do and, and, and experience with all of you. Um, so I, again, just thought that it was important to, to share parts of me with you early on so that you know, uh, to some extent who I am and why I do what I do. Um, you know, I hope to, to have some, I, I guess you call them talks or whatever eventually as well, just talking about, uh, certain aspects of our growth and, you know, whether it's boundaries or self-love, um, you know, I went through an experience. I'd say for the last, uh, mm, I want to say, um, I'm going to just put it this way. Went through an experience about five months ago, four or five months ago now, and it changed my entire world. And talk about a tower moment. Holy fuck. A tower moment unlike any tower moment. And through that experience, um, I ended up coming in touch with uh, a lot of people, clients who also are going through a lot of the same thing or, ha or you know, we're going through the same thing now as opposed to what I went through some time ago. And um, it's, it's wonderful as much as the tower moments for me were painful um, to be able to be in a, in a place that I'm able to take what I experienced and turn that into pain into something good for myself and then to be able to help another human being navigate those experiences as well to give them hope to that they're not alone so um i i don't i'm happy to be able to do this we'll put it that way you know i don't get excited from miserable situations i mean who does right but it's just the reality and the nature of what we encounter in our lives and what we do with it so um you know maybe talks on domestic violence maybe talks about um you know our mental health you know, you know like um when we experience some trauma and we're dealing with triggers our mental health can really take a massive hit uh and it's learning how to decipher those experiences and not allow them to um Put us in the deepest darkest moments you know we, we get depressed we're human beings where sometimes we're not sure what way is up and which way is out um but again what we do with that and how we transform that energy what we're doing with that energy so um yeah it totally depends on you and what you want to do 
and how you want to, you know, you take the, the negative power and you, uh, I guess, cross it out somehow. I don't know if that's the right word. I'm not sure that's what I'm looking for, but you, you turn that negative power into something powerfully positive that is transformational and is uh, a catalyst for you to step into a different version of yourself, getting in touch with your higher self and acknowledging your higher self, you know? So, um, you may find this talk boring. I don't know. I really don't know. Don't know that I care, but I felt compelled to do it. So, I'm, it's likely I'm gonna reshoot Sag's video. <clears throat> um, hell, I might release both of them and go here, do what you want. You know, maybe you're supposed to hear this. Um, 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 that comes out of my mouth a lot. Um, so, you know, be, be discerning, and I believe that word came up a lot in that reading. Be discerning of what you're taking in. Be discerning of, uh, what you're doing for yourself. Um, and if you haven't researched ego, um, really understand what ego is because your ego can be your own worst enemy and it can also be your best friend if you're willing to sit with it and address it and not let it control your life. And in Sage's reading, um, it was just like, this, it's just easier to use the ego to self, uh, it was basically self-sabotaging um, and numbing. It, it was really yucky. It was. It was really fucking yucky, and I hated the way it felt. Uh, so, we'll see. Maybe I'll sit here and, and, and do that next and um, get that out to you. But guys, I just wanted to, I guess, say hello in a more informal setting because this is this is what my life is like every day um, but it's beautiful it's very beautiful and I'm very blessed to be able to live this life that I have and I'm excited for it so uh, hopefully the messages that come through to you in the future are going to be um, exactly what you need them to be when you need them to be what they need to be for you right so um, but I'll always be straight with you um, nothing I hate worse than a liar <laughs> and <laughs> uh, Scorpio tendencies right like you always get the ugly truth so for for sure um, but I love you guys and I'm excited to get to do this and uh, yeah I think that's about it right that's about it so um, I'm looking forward to years of, of this journey and hopefully helping others gain insight and perspective into their lives um, in transforming them. So I'm probably going to heat some coffee up, shoot another Sag video, and then I've got herb presentations to do. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing and liking the channel. Comment as you see fit. Um, please be respectful and kind to each other always in comments if, if that's what you feel or compelled to do. And um, yeah, I think that's about it here, right? I'm really, I take long goodbyes. So, all right, guys. I, I wish you all a wonderful weekend and um, a blessed one, too. Bye.